Hello, in this tutorial we're going to learn about proxies and controlling effects through proxies. Now there are times when stylizing that using paint effects and noise effects can be quite cumbersome. For example, if I zoom in here and if you were to want to have all of these elements with a specific effect, you would need to paint from every direction or flood them all up. For example, if you wanted to add an effect to this entire area here, you would need to select each one of these elements and then use some paint effects to assign these attributes as well. Now this works, but can be quite cumbersome. So what if there would be a way to assign, for example, everything that's going to be inside of this volume will have a specific effect. And that is exactly what proxies are there for. So if we create any kind of 3D geometry, like for example a sphere, it can be anything, it just needs to be polygons. Once you create the sphere, you can convert this into a proxy. You can open the material presets and double click on the proxy material. This will automatically turn it completely transparent. Since you don't have any effects applied on it, it won't have any effect yet. However, once we place it where we want it and we, for example, add some paint effects on it, I'm going to add some bleeding. You start noticing that anything inside of this object is bled and the object can be moved around and put wherever you want. So it's like an invisible 3D volume that is not part of the scene, but allows you to stylize the scene. So let's go briefly through the attributes of the proxy, which are very different than others. First of all, you have the color tint here. You can add a specific color to this invisible object. So if you were to want it to a little bit orangish, you can do so like this. However, you will notice with effects like this that there's pretty much a hard edge there. And this can be controlled by using feathering. If I set this to two, you will notice that the color is feathering out. Now you will still notice some edges where the proxies are touching other objects. In the case of bleeding, this is not the case because bleeding by itself blurs edges, so you don't notice this too much. So what's interesting here is that apart from this, you have something that's called a cookie mask in which you can define what parts of the proxy should have effect and what not. It's like an alpha mask for proxy effects. So you can read more about this in the documentation that you can always find with a click of a button here and then go into proxies. You can learn all about proxies here. Now, something that's also cool about proxies is how they can not only allow you to assign things on a local position, like with this volume, but they can also allow you to place things whatever you want, right? You can move this around, you can attach this to a rig if you want the rig to be uh, moving proxies, or you can place them in front of cameras, like the proxy we have here. If I come here and simply see whatever the shot cam is seeing, we're seeing the, this plane in front and this plane is attached to the camera, so it moves with it. If I want, I can turn this into a proxy and once it's a proxy, I can use paint effects on it. Paint effects or noise effects, actually. So right now, I'm just gonna use paint effects to gradually paint some dilution on it. So I'm going here and saying dilute. I wanna dilute this by 20. And I'm flooding these vertices a couple of times. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the selection of vertices with a smaller than button. And then I'm going to add some accumulation. Smaller, reduce the selection, reduce the selection, accumulate, 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 accumulate. And as you can see here, once I clear the selection, this works now like a radial filter for the entire scene, simply because I placed it on a plane in front of the camera. As you can probably figure out, proxies are extremely versatile and allow you to control effects at all levels of control, from the entire image to very specific parts in your scene.
if you have any questions please write them in the comments we'll make the best to answer them